Hey beauties, good morning to you. Uh, my condolences are extended to the family of Golibop. I don't know his real name. Um, he died at age 59 based on what the media has uh, shown. And it is uh, certainly a sad state of affair. I honestly, I honestly, sincerely didn't even know that he was not well. You know, that they, he had health issues. I know that things had gotten tough for him financially and the music business seemed not to have worked out for him. Um, a fat man that has, he had fair talent, you know, in, in my opinion, you know, coming from the Ninja Man era, you know, based on his age and whatnot. And um, it just, maybe the management wasn't as what we thought it was. I remember seeing somebody, he was in somebody's vehicle in fairly recent time. So I figured he was being given help the help that he needed and uh, unfortunately it seemed as if he had to he succumbed to his own um, frailty and his own health issues and concerns um, one of the reality and I noticed something in the comments section you know that is where we go now for information because one of the things I'm going to tell you I probably should do my dissertation on comments because comments you know sometimes in life we want authenticity comments is the best place to go and get authentic information when i say authentic how people truly feel and let me tell you you know when the bible talks about a generation of vipers my god the comment section has definitely promulgated that message and people were, I, I saw somebody that i know made a comment comment that he said he wouldn't want to hear anybody speak because they knew that he was ill and did not provide help i want to extend to that person that i know nice guy and others don't look to people for help most people if not all and maybe I shouldn't say all it is not natural for people to be kind it is natural to the flesh listen to my words carefully it is natural to the flesh to be mean if you're kind you had to practice to be kind Maybe you saw your parents or somebody in your life and they instill that in you. And even then you have to cultivate it day after day. Because with a blinking of an eye, you can switch into what the flesh desires. Selfishness, meanness, stinginess. The Bible says money answereth all things. And one of the things I can tell you, my beautiful people, if you want to know how people feel, Ask them to give you some money. Ask them to lend you some money. Oh my goodness, it doesn't matter how much. And I'm talking right here in Jamaica. Maybe different countries, I can't speak to that. I don't live anywhere else. But I can speak to my country. And it does not matter if in the past you used to help people. You better not be in a difficult situation financially or you're in trouble when you go to people. They will slander your name. They will gossip. They will tell lies. They will make you feel like you're the scum of the earth. People are not helpful. And when I say people, I don't mean every single human being. I'm talking generally speaking. People are not helpful. They revel in the negative. They revel in something that is bad. They feel good when they see bad happening to people. Have you ever noticed if somebody is being shot, if a car is blown up right here in Jamaica, they're running towards it to video it so that they can be the first to get the views and the likes and go viral so that their name can be called the bible says people have become lovers of themselves you think it was only referring to non-christians in the church out of the church it doesn't matter where the people fall once them name p-e-o-p-l-e -E. by by and large people do not care about people they don't when last have somebody come and offered something to you, whether it's money, whether it's cash, well, hear me, well, whether it's kind, as in something, when last, if it is your birthday, the best you get is happy birthday. I'm not saying that's bad. Don't get me wrong, but people are not going to spend and buy you a gift. They're not going to give you a cash. They're not going to say, check your account. Generally speaking, I have to say that because people might say, I, I don't want to, a one person or two person to say, I'm, the, I'm talking the majority. Please, cannot be every single person. People don't think nor care about people. They don't. They will watch you die. And I'm saying this not to make people feel bad. I'm saying this for, to, for you to open your eyes to look to Jesus for help. Look to God for help. Look to him. Call on him to help you. People will not. They don't care. 
in fact they will add fuel to the fire and say you are the one that causes you are not good you are this you are that and they label you all sorts of vitriolic names and create some sort of rancor around you negative around you that is people that is how people are my beautiful i'm so sorry that the man just passed in you know i mean i'm thinking to myself i really thought the other day when i saw him somebody who seemed to be i don't know if the person is well to do but i got the impression that the person was trying to help him and when i said he died of health condition almost basically to me maybe died of a broken heart because he never expected that his life would have continued like that he figured maybe things would have picked up for him I think at one point I saw them interviewing him. I don't know if he was doing some sort of farming and then, you know, maybe trying with the music and they failed, didn't work out and probably could not get help. We have not done anything that the Bible says we are to do. If we read Acts 2, 44 or 4 to 45 there about or, chap, or verse 44, it says, and they sold their possessions to help each other. Sell who? Sell in today's day? Sell what? To help who? If they not even help their own, much less, much more you. <laughs> or maybe I should say much less, if you can. You have to get into your psyche, people. People are not kind. People are not helpful. And it means whether they are in church or out of church. That is a reality. So when the person said that they don't want to hear anything, you know, because they knew that he needed help and did not provide help. Do you know how many people are suffering in silence? And they cannot because they know what people are going to do. They know you're going to slander their names. They know that you're going to criticize them. They know that you're going to create some vitriol around them. You're going to make their lives almost a living nightmare. Whether you're a church person or not. People are not helpful. They feel good. you know, Or they don't care. It's either feel good watching you suffer. Or do not care if you do. As long as they are not suffering. As long as they're not in the bad space. Or maybe a one or per two persons that they really care about. And even then... And the only time they will is when the tables turn. Because eventually they do. Because what people do not understand, that scripture that says, do not be deceived. God says, don't be fooled. Do not be duped. If you have another thing, another mindset, I'm steering you in the right way. God can never be mocked. Whatever a man sow, whatever a woman sow, that you will reap. So if you don't show mercy, I guarantee you, mercy will not be shown to you. If you do not show compassion, I guarantee you, compassion will not be shown to you. If you do not show love, I guarantee it will not be shown to you. It is simple as that. Simple as saying 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Stop. We need to stop looking to people for help. But some people have to, they have to test the theory to realize that that hypothesis is a factual statement. When the Bible says a generation of vipers, you think it was only referring to non-Christians, church people as well. They, they're either glad that... You, I, I was listening to Les Brown once. And that was a, I'm sure he did that um, uh, video many years ago, that um, post, that speech, I really wanted to say. 80% of the people don't care and 20% glad that it didn't happen to them. And they're glad it happened to you. So basically he said 100%. One way or another. However you want to look at it. People don't care. People do not care. Not everyone. I'm talking majority. And God bless you if you find that destiny helper. Who will help you with compassion and mercy. And will not look down on you. And will not be condescending. Will not carry your name. Will not slander your name. And spread some sort of negative propaganda. It is sad. It is a sad. Thing. I would have. I never th thought I would have seen this um, news this today here about Gullibop. And I'm not saying that he can't die. Everybody's going to die. That's the thing. What people even forget that you, those same people are going to die one day, and it's going to come to their minds what they did to people who they could have helped. It is. Me not ask that. And they don't think that one day the tables can turn in. And the person who is down for a while. That after a while they up. Nebuchadnezzar was in the, the wilderness for seven years. And the Bible said God restored him better than be before he was in the wilderness. And he was, was wrong in the highest form against God. 
look to God, not to people. Guys, follow me on TikTok. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please share this message.